Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a full face first impression. So this isn't necessarily new makeup on, on the market, it's more new makeup to me. Because I have this massive purple, oh, I almost dropped my eyelashes everywhere. This massive purple organiser on my desk of new makeup I've been collecting over the past couple of months that I've been saving for this video. So if you want to see what kind of look I create today, then keep on watching. Before I start my actual makeup, I'm going to use the Mecca Cosmetica Mechamorphosis Plumping Balm. It's meant to be like a primer and a moisturiser in one. So I'm going to try some of this. Shit. And then I'm going to use a primer. Well, this feels really nice. It's kind of tacky so it'll make your makeup stick on. So I've got a mini version of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. So the number 2. Look how- seriously, how little is this? Oh my god. It's adorable. So I'm just gonna put some of this on my forehead. On my nose. And chin. This is the areas I need smoothed. It feels very slippery, but I think that's normal for this primer, I'm not sure. Since it's a very silicone-y smoothing primer. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 118. Why doesn't it have a pump? That's going to annoy me. Just putting some on the back of my hand. Smear it all over my face. Yeah, I need a little bit more. Oh my god. Put some on my nose. So I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. Seems like a logical place to put earrings. This might be a little bit too of the wrong colour, but oh well. Oh, it didn't match me normally, but I'm a little bit sunburnt, so. Because I was out in the sun and I didn't have sunscreen on. Because I'm not someone that remembers to put sunscreen on. No. I'm a very bad human when it comes to sunscreen. Just going to apply a little bit more. Oh, shit. Too much, too much! Maybelline seriously needs to change their packaging because this, this is just dangerous. I think they have, haven't they? In like America, they've got now got like the squeezy tube version. But here in Australia, we've still got the fancy glass bottles. Well. Oh well. I really like that. So the primer I used underneath, it's not completely matte, but it looks really nice. For concealer, I've got the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. I'm going to try this on all of my charming red spots that I have all over my face. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Concealer on this Morphe brush. And just try and conceal these. Oh, that worked really well. I think it's just a tad too light with the foundation, but oh well. So if it wasn't for the fact that this is just a shade too light, this works really well. Like, they're, they're nowhere near as red as they were, so I like this. I really like this. Need to pick it up in a darker shade though. And I've also got a little sample size of the Boing Industrial Strength Concealer by Benefit and What's Up. What's Up? Yeah. And it's in the shade number one, so... Ooh. Get out! So I've just rubbed most of the concealer I used on my forehead off the brush. And I'm just going to... 
take some of this. Under my eye. A little bit on the eyelid. Blend up the sponge. That has pretty much covered up all of the discoloration around my eyes. I'm really impressed with that. I might have to go out and buy the full size of the bling. But now, just for something different, I'm going to add some of What's Up, which is this side, on my face. I don't exactly know how you meant to apply this. I can't tell whether or not I'm actually getting any product on my sponge. Maybe, maybe. It's very subtle, but I'll have to keep playing with that. So, so far this is amazing. Now my only dilemma is what drawer do I store this in? Concealer or highlighter? Comment down below which drawer I should store it in because I'm gonna get confused. So for powder, I've got this Rimmel Lasting Finish Powder Foundation. And I'm gonna set my face with it once I bounce out these lines that are formed on my forehead. Because I have very deep expression lines. I really like that. And you can still see the highlighter peeking through. Just a little bit on the tip of my nose. So I also have this. This is the Bare Minerals Powder Concealer and Well Rested. So I'm going to try and put a little bit of this on my face. How the hell do I open this? So I'm just going to use this under my eyes. I have a little bit of creasing under my eye. But... Can't tell whether that's the foundation, the concealer, this, I don't know. But, oh well. And it's very hot in this room, so my makeup is like slightly tacky because of that. So, this isn't exactly a new product to me, but I'm going to try it out anyway because I haven't really used it in a while. This is the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I forgot how much that puts out. So for eyebrows, I finally picked up the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. I've been wanting this for so long, so I'm so excited to try it out. I finally own something from Anastasia. It's only fitting that the first product I own from Anastasia is like one of the most popular. It is only fitting. So hopefully this isn't too dark. Don't know how much you meant to use. Here goes nothing. Shh, shh, this stuff is pigmented. Oh, like when you compare it to the rest of my hair, it works. So, I move the mirror closer so I can see what I'm doing. Like, when you compare it to the actual colour of my hair, it works. And it probably matches my eyebrows when they don't have foundation through them. So, Oh well. I'm just gonna take some of that concealer again and just fix this little spot that I stuffed up. I love this. It's I'm so glad. Because where I live, we've only really ever had Mecca. And now we've got Sephora, so I'm like, yay. Because I'm someone that I want to see what the product looks like. Like, I wanted to swatch the colour of this on, the ha on my hand. Like, what I did, I drew what I normally... I went in with a swatch of my normal eyebrow pencil that I use. Or pomade, whatever product I normally use, I can't remember. Probably would have been my Chi Chi Taupe pomade. I went in with that and then I like, compared what this looked like next to it. So, 
I didn't want to buy it online and then go, holy shit, this is too dark or holy shit, this is the wrong undertone for my eyebrows and for the rest of my face. So I am glad that Sephora is now where I can reach it so I can test the products before I buy them. Like with foundation, I'll buy them online if I go into the store and I get like a sample so I'm colour matched and I can see if the foundation works for me because I'm not going to go out and spend like $50, $60 on a foundation for it to be A, the wrong colour or be the right colour and the wrong undertone or for it to be a formula that just doesn't work for my skin. I'm not. <laughs> that would just crush my soul. So I'm not doing that. So something else I picked up is this. I'm so excited. I love Tarte products. I've got a mini blush that I've used on my channel before and the, what is it? The Pro Glow palette. I love that. So I had like three palettes lined up in the store. I'm like, which one? <laughs> Which one should I get? My sister's like, ah, oh, I'm pointed to this. Purely because she likes it and wants me to use it on her. But I was leaning more towards this one anyway, because it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm going to start out with Charmer, which is this one here. And just set my eyelid. I might take oh, smelly pants, so this one here and start running that through my crease. Well, these are pigmented. Holy shit. Like, look at that. I used barely, like, I barely dipped into the bloody palette. And look at the color payoff. Leave a comment down below of which palette I should buy because then again Christmas is coming up so it's technically a Christmas present to myself. That's what I keep telling myself because I'm like, I need it all. And then there's that little bit of dread when you look at your bank account and it's just slowly going down and down. And you're like, I'm now going to take like a smaller, pointier brush and I'm going to take Rebel, which is this one down here. I've got this Revlon, what is it? Aya, Photo Ready Aya. So I kind of want to use some of this on my lid to kind of like cut it. But first I might just put something on the outer corner. So I might take Activist, so this one here, and just put a little bit of that on the outer V. Flip the brush over and... So now I'm going to go in with that Revlon eye art stuff. This is in the colour, does it have a colour? 100 Topaz Twinkle. So I'm going to put um, this on my eyelid and I'm just going to take it up a little bit higher. But when I close my eye, I can still see it. That colour is really pretty. So I'm just going to take a mixture of Rebel, which I used earlier, and Activist. Blend those two colours together. I'm just going to take a different brush and Smarty Pants, which is the first transition shade I used, and just blend everything out. So I'm just going to take Funny Girl, which is this one here, and just run that over the topaz colour to just set it and make sure that it doesn't crease on me. This is a really pretty colour. I'm also going to use Funny Girl on my corner and a little bit under my brow. If you're ever wondering what colours I'm using or what products I'm using, I link well, I write everything down in the description box, every brush, every colour, so 
I actually write the colour I'm using from the palette. So I'll write Tartlet in Bloom and then I'll list the colours that I used. Because I hate when I'm watching a video and I'm like, what is that product? I want to buy that product. And it's nowhere in the video to be found. <laughs> so I make sure that I write it down. So if you guys see any product you want to buy, you can easily locate it. I'm loving how this makeup is turning out. So I'm going to be taking this eyeliner, which is Essence's Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Tutu Turquoise, which is the most adorable name. There is a lorikeet on my roof. And then I'm going to be taking the Sleek Eye Divine Ultra Matte V1 palette. I'm going to be taking a mixture of the blues, which are these two. And I'm going to put it under my lower lash line because I feel like being fancy today. Just because, why not? You just have to build up that eyeliner. This is going to sound very pessimistic. But I was half expecting this tutorial to go completely wrong. Because knowing my luck, whenever I try something new that isn't in my little box of products that I, you know, stick to, because I'm a creature of habit, I was half expecting this to go completely wrong. But so far, it's turning out really well. So I'm going to take a mixture of the two, which are Chill and Bolt, so the two blues. I love sleek eyeshadows. I've got one of their other palettes. And it is so nice. So I'm just going to go back in with that Tartlet palette and Charmer. And just buff some of that blue out. Because I went a little bit overboard. So I'm actually going to finish off the rest of my face. And then come back to my eyes so I can balance everything out the way I want to. So for bronzer, I've got this one by Essence. It's the Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder for Lighter Skin. What confuses me about this is how can something be luminous and matte at the same time? So I'm going to take one of my favorite brushes. This is the Look Good Feel Better Powder Brush. So I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin. So this is the NYX HD blush in taupe. I'm going to try and use it to contour because apparently it's a really good contour shade. So I'm going to try it. And this on this little hanging brush. So I'm going to use this. This is the Tarte 12 hour blush in Exposed. I got this through Live Glam because I had enough points to earn a reward apparently. I was half expecting to get like the little size, which I already have of Unstoppable, I think that's what it's called. But when I opened the package and it was the full size one, I was like, oh my god, yay! For highlight, I've got this Australis High Life Illuminating Strobing Powder, Power? Powder in Glimmer. So it's a pink toned one. So hopefully this matches. And I'm going to use a new brush I got. This is the Morphe 601. It kind of reminds me of the, the Becca highlighters. Because it's very, very glittery and chunky. But I don't really mind. Like, I love my Becca highlighter. So it obviously doesn't bother me. But if you're someone that likes more of a glowy highlighter, not a glitzy highlighter, I would probably stay away from this one. I was expecting it to be a little bit off because it's pink, but it's not. I really like that. Ooh. Like, can you see that? Oh my god. So I might do my lips and then finish off my eyes because I don't exactly know what colour. <laughs> is going to work with this eye makeup. Box, corner. Corner for me, box. Okay, so this is Hunty by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this is Hunty by Jeffree Star.
So I'm just going to use the Essence 2-in-1 eyeliner pen. I'm going to use the thin side and just do a thin line of eyeliner to hide the lash band. Hopefully I can get this thin. My eye just made that like, weirdest squeaky farting noise. <laughs> I was like, what the? What the hell was that? So, the only new lashes I've got are these. These are the Ardell Baby Wispies. Baby Denny Wispies. So, I'm going to use these with my Ardell Lash Glue because I love it. So the only new mascara I have is this. This is the Rimmel Volume Shake Extreme Black Mascara. I just love that noise. So I'm going to use this today. And I'm just going to apply mascara so my natural lashes blend with the false ones. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and answering any of the questions that I've asked throughout this video. Don't forget to subscribe, it's either in this corner or this corner, I don't actually know, but it is down below as well, it's that big red button. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time, bye!